May 21, Tuesday of the fifth week of Easter. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Peace I live with you, my peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give it to you. Do not let your hearts be troubled or afraid. You heard me tell you, I am going away, and I will come back to you. If you loved me, you would rejoice that I am going to the Father, for the Father is greater than I. And now I have told you this before it happens, so that when it happens, you may believe. I will no longer speak much with you, for the ruler of the world is coming. He has no power over me, but the world must know that I love the Father, and that I do just as the Father has commanded me. The Gospel of the Lord My peace I give to you. How are you? In Jesus' time, when people ask this, they say, Hashalom? They mean, is there peace? Peace is usually understood as freedom from war or public disturbance. But for the Israelites, shalom or peace is more encompassing. Its fundamental idea is well-being in its totality. Anything that contributes to that wholeness can be expressed in terms of peace. Thus, when someone replies, Shalom, that means I'm okay. At the Last Supper, Jesus is giving His disciples His gift of peace. Shalom here is the fruit of Jesus' passion, death and resurrection. And so, when He appears to His disciples after His resurrection, Jesus says to them, Peace be with you. This is not a simple greeting of peace. It is the giving of peace that brings forgiveness and totality of God's gift, made clear by the accompanying words of empowerment from the risen Savior. Receive the Holy Spirit, whose sins you forgive are forgiven them, and whose sins you retain are retained.